Hey, I just, before we start, which one was he picking? You do? This one, my pastor. You felt threatened in any way? <laughs> we talk about it in the morning. He won't be there. Okay. <laughs> hey, quit pointing your finger. That's an aggressive move, mister. No. Hey, you saw what happened to Bill Cosby. Sit down. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. He's friends with the judge. Well, I stood before some of these judges a long time ago, so I didn't go anywhere. That wasn't even part of the script. This could be, this could be difficult. Um, but really, I'm a pastor now, and so we, we can talk. You can wear whatever kind of jeans you want. It's, it's, it's not about what, it's on the outside, it's what about on the inside, okay. Hey, uh, it's really funny sitting back there. And first of all, can we get another round of applause for all the communities? They were awesome, they were great. Just think about it. I mean, it's tough. And, and, and to get up and to do this in front of your peers and a lot of people that you know, it's difficult. And so I was sitting back there, and it's all for fun and fundraising, right? But when Judge Jamerson got that first laugh, the, the, uh, the underwear table was like, I didn't think that was very funny at all. <laughs> And then the hand rub came out on the back, like, you're funnier than him, you're funnier than him. And then that last joke, it was just like, well, that's just offensive. Let's leave. Let's go. No, they were great, all three of them. It's very difficult to get up and, and to do stand-up. Alex, you did a great job coaching them, and uh, they, did, they all did a very, very good job. Um, it, it is, if, if you... If you don't know, I, I am from Anderson. I, I grew up here. I, I was born here. I'm, I'm, I'm trapped here, just like you. So, um, no, it's okay. Um, I, I, I love it here, and and I'm, I'm staying here until I find a way out. But, but <laughs> if you haven't noticed, you look around a few decades. There's been a lot of changes in Anderson, right? For those of you that have been through it, a lot of changes. And it's hard for us to change. I, I think it's hard for us to let go. I don't know why. Sometimes it's sad, right? I mean, I, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, I was sad when they finally closed the, the Mounds Mall. I was. I, I got a little reminiscent. But let's be honest, if that thing was a horse, we'd have shot it 20 years ago. <laughs> in pain. <laughs> it was. It was she, she, we, we rode her as far as we shopped her as far as we could. It's time to put her down. Time to put, even when you drive by, you, that, that's what it sounds like with your family. And they just all look at him. Oh, Oh, it's in pain. It's suffering. Kids look away. Shoot it. Shoot it now. What about the mall walkers? Give them 15 minutes and then blow the whole thing up. It'll be cool. <laughs> By the way, I have a question. Can we just talk about uh, mall walkers for a minute? <laughs> Are there any of you in here tonight? Are willing to admit the bald ones that she talked about? No? I have a question. How can a group of people that drive so slow <laughs> walk so fast? <laughs> I'm so confused. And they get angry if you're in their lane. You really, want to, you really want to mess them up, go on a day, find out which way they're walking, and then just start walking the other way so that you gotta run into them. One guy dropped his wallet in front of me one day, and I, I swear I couldn't even catch up with him. I was like, sir, sir, I catch up. I'm so out of shape, I got cramp. Not at the mall, just right then, right there. But at the end, the, I mean, it was time, right? As sad as it makes us, it was time for the mall to be shut down. It really was. It got like a big, creepy, stationary ice cream truck. You just, you knew it was wrong, but you just had to go see what they had. <laughs> Talk with your friends. And, 
you know, have you seen them all? Yeah, it's terrible. It's creepy, isn't it? It's awful. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to go to the mall? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and that food court, bless it, bless it. <laughs> at the end, at the very end, that thing looked like the singles table on a wedding reception, didn't it? <laughs> hey, mom, look, there's the food court. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> Just, uh, just hanging on, hanging on. I remember the day at the mall, for some of you will remember this too. It, it, I mean, it was, it was fun. I mean, it, you know, you had, you had the arcade, you had Music Land, remember that, Music Land? Bottom half, that's a little weird, but still. You know? But Music Land, that's where I bought my first album. I'll never forget. Remember music now, you go in and there wouldn't be like anybody working, you know, and then when you got ready to buy something, this guy would come out of the back that you knew had been in prison. <laughs> kind of, yeah, you gonna get that? Yeah, I'm gonna get that. What's that smell? Don't worry about it, kid. <laughs> I'll never forget, like, I bought Queen's album, you know, and, and, uh, why do we idolize our rock stars so much? Like, you know, I, I don't know, but I did, and I'm sure a lot of you did too. I think it's because when we get the finished product, we, we get to enjoy, like, the perfection of what they created. But if we got to see, like, maybe how they struggled when writing a song, maybe we wouldn't idolize them so much. Just, I mean, just, have we ever thought maybe they had a hard time coming up with that perfect lyric? Because that's all we ever hear. So what if, what if Queen was sitting around in the, in the studio going, we will, we will impress you. Does that sound good? No? No? Let's try it again. Let's see. We will, we will hug you. What does that sound like? Is that, is that good? And a maintenance guy comes by and says, try rock you. <laughs> we will, we will rock you. Yeah, that works. Thank you. That's great. We love that. Right? <laughs> Little ditty about Frank and Claudine. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Everybody's working for the fun of it. See, that just wouldn't have went over as well. But I am a pastor, many of you know, um, and, and, and I love what I do. But I think church would be a lot better if it was modeled after my favorite show, which is The Godfather. <laughs> 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 I tell you, Alex was on my board at City Church. Yeah. One of the first times I went over there with one of the other board members, we were sitting in his living room, and we're meeting in Denise's upstairs somewhere, we're meeting at the kitchen table, and it started to get really dark in the room. And me and my buddy didn't know what to do. <laughs>
Methodist church, they were sleeping in the corner. Come on, wake up, wake up. <laughs> My friends from the Pentecostal church make it all racket right, and never know what they're saying. They never know. <laughs> And since we are completely out of wine, I know the Catholics have showed up. <laughs> we're welcoming you all here today, and you know why we're here. We've got a problem in Houston. What's the guy's name? Osteen. Mr. Osteen. He's taking our money. He's taking our parishioners. He's got that fancy black curly hair. <laughs> I'm going to send him a message. If he doesn't listen, i got the perfect thing. We're going to bury him in a place where nobody will ever go again. I'm missing Indiana, the mountains. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Jay Harvey, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. They really happened. They had to ask me, Alex, do you mind if we turn some lights on? <laughs> Excited, guys. Okay. Lights are overrated. Come on. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Those were our uh, celebrity. <laughs>